I feel like every time I film a new video, I have to have a different background somewhere else in my room. So here we go. Here's a new scenery. Hey guys, I read six books during the month of July, so I am just going to jump right into this video because I think this might take a while. The first book I read in July was Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the sequel to Shadow and Bone, which I read last month. And basically, it's just continuing Alina's journey as she tries to figure out who she is and how she's going to deal with having this like remarkable power and how other people are starting to see her as sort of a leader. One thing I really loved about this book was it is it is a lot darker than um, Shadow and Bone, but there's a lot of characters that are introduced that are so unique and just so so much fun, some of them, and I really enjoyed that. And I cannot wait for the last book, Ruin and Rising, which is supposed to come out, I believe, in June of next year, so I can't wait for that, but unfortunately I have to. I gave Siege and Storm 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was Codename Verity by Elizabeth Vine. This book is set in World War II and it's about two girls who are part of the British Army and they're flying their plane over France on a spy trip and their plane goes down and um, one of them is taken hostage by the Germans and she is telling the story um, like revealing secrets from the army as a traitor and she's telling the story but it's very complicated and she's telling about how she met the other girl who was flying the plane and how they ended up on the plane over France and as you get deeper and deeper into the story you realize it's much more complicated than you thought first off and that this girl isn't necessarily telling the truth about everything. It's very complicated, but I really um, I really enjoyed it and I gave this one four to five stars. The next book I read was one that I've been seeing all over booktube and it is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Fifth Wave is set in present day after aliens have attacked. Each of their attacks come in a different wave. Like the first wave, all of technology is wiped out so nobody can communicate with each other. And the second wave, I think there's like earthquakes or tsunamis or something. What I thought was really interesting about the fifth wave is it isn't necessarily aimed at the aliens, like it doesn't focus on the aliens and what they're doing. It focuses more on the people who have survived these the fourth wave so far and it's just their stories about how they're managing to keep their lives going and how they keep fighting to live. I gave this one four out of five stars. Next I read City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series, and I think it was originally meant to be a trilogy, and then there are three more books, so I finished reading like the first three books, I want to say like last summer or something, it was quite a while ago, and she does a very good job of kind of bringing you back to the story, and not necessarily reintroducing the characters, but reminding you of who's who and what's going on. My problem with the book was just I thought it kind of dragged on a little bit and I just got bored in the middle, but I did really like the ending and I'm very excited to see what happens in the next book. I gave this one 3 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which is one that I've already read before. I remember not really liking Insurgent that much the first time through, like I liked it, but I kept comparing it to Divergent and kind of getting irritated with the characters, but upon reading it again, I didn't have that problem, and I think I caught a lot more that was happening reading it the second time through, and I really liked how the characters um, just developed as it went on, and I'm very, very interested to see how she wraps the whole series up. I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars. The last book I read was Sea Change by S.M. Wheeler, which I think is like an adult fantasy book. I just read the synopsis of it, and it sounded really interesting, and it's basically about a girl whose best friend is a kraken, and one day the kraken goes missing, and so she goes out on this kind of quest. This one is told like a fairy tale, and I did feel like I was reading a fairy tale because there's, you know, magic and witches and a kraken. The one thing I didn't quite like about it, though, was the writing style. It's written very much like it is a fairy tale, like it's kind of this detached third person point of view that you just you kind of watch everything unfold and just sit there and observe it. 
and it was kind of elaborate sometimes and I would really get distracted with the writing style and then I'd lose focus on the story and I'd get so caught up in the writing that I wouldn't remember what's going on in the story and I wouldn't keep following what's the story, it's just the writing. But I think the writing really helped the story and I think they went together. I just wasn't a big fan of the writing and that kind of affected my view of the story. It's very imaginative and creative and if you're looking for kind of like a fairy tale but one that you haven't heard before, I would give this one a go. I give this one three out of five stars. Those are the books that I read in July. If you read anything really interesting in July, you should leave it as a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Might be from a different place because I'm moving for college so I won't be back in this location for a few months but We'll have to see how it goes.